Derek Sloan, former candidate for the conservative leadership and troublesome, problematic MP for the party, will probably sometime in the next few days, maybe in fact by the time you, the dear viewers watching this, will no longer be a member of the Conservative Party. Aaron O'Toole has said he will go through the proper process to remove uh, Derek Sloan as a Conservative MP and will, at leader's discretion, bar him for running for a Conservative nomination again. All of this is after it was revealed that Mr. Sloan had received a donation from a uh, infamous Canadian neo-Nazi, which is a weird sentence to actually say out loud, but here we are, 2021 is very much like 2020 in terms of weird things. You know, the weird thing is receiving the check doesn't really bother me that much. I don't think it reflects that badly on Mr. Sloan. Uh, it reminded me, you might remember this a couple of years ago, more than that now, uh, Rob Ford, widely criticized for posing for photos at City Hall in Toronto with a guy uh, with uh, far right nationalist links. I don't remember the, the specific details, but a guy showed up in like this weird military uniform and Rob Ford posed for a picture with him. And then one, once the identity of this guy came out, people are like, why is Rob Ford posing for pictures with this far right guy? Well, he was doing it because a guy showed up, posed for a picture, moved on, and it was probably one of 700 photos Rob Ford took that day. He was probably wondering, why is this dude in a military uniform? But he probably didn't want to raise a fuss by saying, what uniform is this? He just would have assumed the guy was a veteran from some other country. I think receiving a check from someone who has these, you know, neo-Nazi or far-right links is obviously embarrassing and it's obviously a problem, but it is something that is really not Sloan's fault. And you can ask, and it's a fair question, why are neo-Nazis picking him as the guy to donate their checks to? That is a fair question, but I actually don't think receiving the check is the, the key issue here. And as Sloan has pointed out, Conservative Party got a cut of that. So they're at least as guilty as he is. No, let's just disperse with, with all the BS and all, all the prevarication. What's really happening here is that Aaron O'Toole has seized on an issue to clean house. Derek Sloan is a problem. He's been a problem for a while. After what happened in the U.S. Capitol recently, right-wing parties all over the world are realizing they'd better clean up their act before they get nailed to the wall by their opponents here. This is probably not the perfect excuse Aaron O'Toole was looking for to purge Derek Sloan, but sometimes beggars can't be choosers. This came along. He seized it. Is it fair? Probably not, but you don't elect political leaders to be fair. You elect them to use their power.